Imam al-Mahdi, Allah ta'ala faraja. Why was he named al-Mahdi? Written by Kissa Kids Publications. It was a hot summer day in the city of Medina. Jabir, an old friend of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi, sat on a ledge, the sun shining brightly over him. He smiled joyfully because just like Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam had promised, he had the honor of meeting the fifth Imam, Imam Muhammad al-Baqir alayhi salam. As he watched the young Imam gently help a bird with a broken wing, he thanked Allah for allowing him to be in the presence of a future Imam. As the young Imam headed inside to bandage the bird, a strange man began wandering through the streets. He was asking everyone, Where can I find Jabir? The villagers led the man to the house of Imam al-Sajjad where Jabir was sitting outside. He quickly walked up to Jabir and greeted him, Salamun alaykum. Jabir replied, Wa alaykum as salam, and watched as the mysterious man tried to catch his breath. The man said, Dear Jabir, I have been searching for you all over the city. I have so many questions and I was told you are a knowledgeable companion of the Prophet and Imams. Jabir happily answered as many questions as he could using the knowledge he had gained from the Prophet and the Imams. Finally, the man asked a question to which Jabir didn't know the answer. The curious man asked, Why is the last Imam named Al-Mahdi? As Jabir pondered on this question, the man spotted the young Imam al-Baqir coming back out of his home. Both he and Jabir rushed to the Imam and gave him their salam. Jabir and the man knew this was a good opportunity to get their question answered, so the man asked again, O my Imam, why would the last Imam be given the title Al-Mahdi? Imam al-Baqir smiled and answered, He will be named Al-Mahdi. Sharif, the one who guides, because even when no one will be able to see him, he will still guide people. This is just like the sun, which shines even when it is hidden behind the clouds. The man found this answer to be very interesting. The Imam salam continued, He will bring out the original heavenly books from a cave and guide people of each religion through their own book. The Jews through the Torah, the Christians through the Bible, and the Muslims through the Quran. The mysterious man begged the Imam, Please tell me more, O oh my dear Imam. The young Imam al-Baqir continued, All the treasures of the world will belong to the Imam, and he will decide how to spend them. The man was now bursting with love for Imam al-Mahdi, and so he pleaded, my knowledge is so limited. Please tell me more about my beloved Imam al-Mahdi. Imam al-Baqir continued, He will help make peace between people who are fighting and put a stop to evil, such as killing and stealing. Allah will allow him to rule the world like no one before him ever has. The man gazed at Imam al-Baqir in wonder. Even Jabir was amazed at what the young Imam السلام, had just taught them about Imam al-Mahdi. The mysterious man had finally found the answers to his questions and thanked the young Imam. He bowed down and kissed the Imam's hand out of respect. He also thanked Jabir for answering all his previous questions. The man politely bid farewell to the Imam السلام, and Jabir and disappeared into the busy streets of the city. Jabir thought hard about what he had learned from Imam al-Baqir a.s. He felt overjoyed to have learned all this new information. As Jabir sat back down, he smiled at the shining face of Imam al-Baqir a.s. Many years ago, Jabir used to go to the Prophet wasallam whenever he had any questions. He was so thankful to Allah that now he lived to meet five Imams after him from whom he was also able to learn so much. Nobody in all of Medina had the honor of meeting five Imams except Jabir ibn Abdullah al-Ansari. What a blessing indeed. As Jabir sat there watching the young Imam salam, many thoughts raced through his mind. Maybe he sat there thinking, Oh, how blessed are those people who will live in the time of Imam al-Mahdi. 
They will have the honor of being guided by the Imam, who will bring justice and peace to the entire world. I hope they will realize how lucky they are. That's us. Alhamdulillah, we are blessed to be living in the time of Imam al-Mahdi, ajrallahu ta'ala farajahu sharif. Oh, how lucky we are. We pray that Allah hastens the reappearance of our awaited Savior, Imam Muhammad al-Mahdi, ajrallahu ta'ala farajah, who will guide us all to the right path. Oh Allah, please include us all among his true followers and help us to pave the way for his return.